Hello YouTube, Blink-182's got a brand new song. Here's how to play it. So it sounds like this. Uh, so that's a little bit advanced. Um, I'll teach that, but if you want, you could just play the regular, the A, C, and then an F. And for the F, you really just need a power chord, just first fret, third fret third fret just those three and that'll be true for the whole song but to pick out the notes here's what you do it's going to be an open a with your middle finger on the second fret of the d here so just those two strings and do it twice then it's going to be a c your middle finger doesn't move then your index finger gets the first fret of the low e and your middle finger still doesn't move. Now your middle finger lifts up. Now your pinky gets the third fret of the A. And again with the open D. So all at once, slowly. One, two, three, go. speed it up and repeat it twice and you have the verse okay then the little pre-chorus parts can so it's gonna be quick down strums you could go but I think that sounds a little weird so I like to go and I'm using a palm mute I'm kind of resting my palm on the strings to mute them down so instead of it's and it's eight beats per chord so for the a it's eight beats but two strums per beat so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then to the C. One, two, three. And on the four, put your pinky on the D string right above your middle finger. Don't move anything. Just put your pinky on that third fret there above your middle finger. So it's starting with the A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. C, two, three. Pinky, five, six, seven, eight. And then a F, just the power chord again. And just three times. One, two, three. So all at once for that pre-chorus again. Starting with the A minor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. C, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. F, F, F. All right, so for the chorus, it's going to be a C. Then a slightly modified G. All you're going to do is move these two fingers up to the G position, but your index finger doesn't change from the C. It stays on that first fret here. So a regular C, index finger doesn't move, just these two come up a string each. Use your index finger to lean on that E, the high E to mute it. We don't want to hear it. Then it's going to be a regular A minor, and then to a F power chord. You could play the whole F, by the way, if you want the bar, but it's not necessary, and that makes it harder. So an F power chord will do. I don't think it changes the sound of the song. So uh, the strumming you're going to do. Now I do like to use down and ups. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then mute everything with your right hand. Just hit the strings. Just hit the strings and stop them from ringing. So starting with the C, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. back into the verse. All right, then there's that uh, kind of ending part. Like that. And here's what you do. Play the C. The whole time we're going to use that. This whole time we're going to use a palm mute, which means I put my palm kind of karate chop right at the bridge here, right on the strings, as low as I can go. And what that does is, instead of playing an open chord, it, it mutes them a little bit. <laughs> well, of course it does. It's a palm mute. But it softens them. I like that sound. And I think it's true to the song. 
So here's what you do. It's a C. Uh, so this gets confusing to count out because I just tried to do it a couple times with the video. So I'm just going to play it real slow. Try to follow along. So play a normal C, but don't use your middle finger. Play in the normal C and then lift up the middle finger. And what's going to happen is you're going to use that middle finger right under your ring finger there on the same string for the quick switch. Lift up your ring. And then the next one, your ring finger doesn't move, and you're going to play an open E. And then to an F power chord. That whole time, your ring finger doesn't need to move, notice. So real slow, that whole kind of exchange is going to be... And then just lift everything up and just play the open E. Uh, and then into a G. But if you only aim to hit like the bottom, the uh, the low four notes, the only thing you need to play a G is your is your ring finger and your uh, index finger here. And then your middle finger doesn't move. Back up to the C. So, real slow, I know this is uh, kind of the hardest part of the song. Start with your C, minus your middle finger, put it, put it right below your ring. So the C, and the whole time you're using that palm mute, remember. And that's the whole song, Blink Song. It's a you know classic sounding Blink Song. I like it. Uh, I hope you like the tutorial. Good luck playing the song. I'd love to see some covers. Please rate. Please comment. Please subscribe. All that good stuff. I will see you next time. <laughs>